Good morning Vlogmas! It is Sunday the 4th of December. I have just finished knitting my advent socks. So they're going away. Um, I've woken up with a bit of a headache today. So um, it, I'm, I'm in scruffs. It was going to be a doing day. I was planning on gardening and tidying and doing all sorts but it, it's nearly 10 o'clock and I haven't really moved yet. So I think it's most going to be a pottering day but we'll see if you don't see much of me today you know why so I've mainly been knitting on the hand spun version of my portly hat because of course I have this is the one thing that definitely doesn't need to be knit on so of course it's all I want to knit on Um, you can see the sort of gradient coming in here it's a bit sharp here um, and this is quite textured yarn, it's very thick and thin, uh, but that's fine, it's hand spun, it was meant to be like that way, a bit slubby. Um, it's very squishy, I love the one by one rib, and um, that it's, it's quite drapey, it's weird actually, this yarn, sorry about that, I just had a call from mum, so yeah, I think what I was saying is that, that this palest section here, is just the merino fibre spun up but all this sort of gradient section has been blended so it's been the two colours blended together so I think it's because it's been blended and that it's quite a lot softer than this merino just by itself so it's interesting um but I did take out a little bit because one of the gradients was getting a bit long but I can always use that in a pom-pom and I'm just going to keep going on this. I'd like to get all the colours in. And if I have to take out bits and pieces, they'll just go into a pom-pom. But yeah, it's very squishy and very soft. It's lovely. So yeah, it's, it's quite enjoyable to work on. So yeah, I don't really have big plans for the day so far. I've just been chatting to mum on the phone. Um, I think I might cast on a few things. I've got mum socks to cast on i would like to knit a christmas jumper i have one on the go which is the festive yoke sweater by skein deer knits but i've been tweaking it because i didn't get gauge and um i want i didn't get gauge and um yeah the yarn that i'm using is really low contrast so it's like a light gray and a white um and it, they're really small motifs on that, so it's it's not really working. So I changed it to doing bigger motifs, but then I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with the breaking for the arms and the yoke, and I think I've gone off on one, but I'll, I'll root that out and have a look at it in a bit. I think my plan is to maybe not do a Christmas Christmas sweater, but just sort of do something with colour work and call it a Christmas sweater. So I might look at, like, what DK patterns Jennifer Steingas has and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So it'd be nice to get it at least, if I'm going to do something completely different to the festive yoke, it'd be nice just to cast it on. But I'll have a look at the festive yoke and see where that is up to as well. So yeah, there might be a few cast ons today, but um, I think it's just a pottering day. But advents, I think I'm going to open my advents. Advent day four socks. I think the pattern for this is the coffee morning socks by the crazy sock lady. But I'm not 100% sure. It's kind of a ribbed texture. The yarn is by Hedgerow Yarns and it was a Christmas colourway and it's a bit tweedy. It's like a tweedy base. It's really nice. I've still got some of this yarn left. 
can see the tweedy bits more in the stockinette portion on the foot. Yeah, these have got a really good fit to them because they've got a bit of rib in there. I do really like this pattern. I think it was a little bit tedious to knit. And it's got navy on the heels and toes. I don't tend to do cuffs in the contrast colour just because I, I find cuffs the most boring part of a sock to do. Although these do like flow quite nicely into the design on the sock. Um, so nowadays I tend to do toe up socks so I can start with the toe. And um, But yeah, if I'm going to start with the cuff, I want to start with the, the main yarn because that's what I'm excited to use. So yeah, I really like these. They're some of my favourite Christmas socks. Do -do -do. Oh. I need to hoover, but the hoover's upstairs. So I really should tidy upstairs before I bring the hoover down. So the floor may just get worse. Are you being helpful, Jax? So this is the Christmas sweater that I've started. And actually seeing it on camera, the contrast shows up quite quite nicely actually. So there is like a row of like little stars there and then bigger snowflakes here. And I've just done another row of like pattern and I think I was going into a bigger snowflake motif that I've charted out um to be honest I think I've got more room than I thought I did I thought I was a lot further on in the yoke of this than I actually am and the yarn I'm using for this is I have this cone of unknown fingering weight, undyed woolly wool. It's a two-ply. And I'm holding that together with this. So this is a mohair and it's a really old mohair and it's from Crystal Palace Yarns. And it's very difficult to see here. You might, oh, a little bit there, maybe. Um, it kind of shines like Mother of Pearl. So it's got blues and pinks and greens and yellows in. It's not just a plain cream. So I'm holding those together for the white contrast and then the main colour that I'm using is this yarn. So this again is two strands held together but it's wound that way and I got this from AliExpress. I was just doing a bit of an experiment to see what their yarns were like because they, they offer them at such cheap prices. So I ordered two cakes of this see what it was like I I don't I mean it's it's fine it's wool it's tweedy it's quite nice I've just never really used it for anything but I think for the two cakes it was probably 20 pounds plus shipping from China so yeah now I've got this out again I kind of want to work on this but I have been perusing Ravelry and I found three Jennifer Steingast patterns that I like and she did have a if you buy two, you get one free. So I got, I have got three. I'm going to put pictures of them up on screen. Um, and I'm probably going to cast one of these on as well. And obviously this one isn't going to be very Christmassy. But I might as well cast it on. So I'll put all three up on screen. And leave me a comment and let me know which one you prefer. But yeah, actually I think I might try and find my chart for this. And, get, and crack on, find out where I was exactly in the pattern, how many stitches I've got, and um, see what I can do with this. Because actually, on camera, that contrast is showing up okay. You can see snowflakes. And I wish my headache would go away because I'm a bit sick of it now. Full stop. I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the 
Each other.